Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio with AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is the air handler control board operation and troubleshooting. So we're going to be going over the low voltage thermostat wire connections, and we're actually going to be applying 24 volts with this transformer, and we're going to be measuring our resistance value across the context of the blower relay. So you got to remember that this control board is turning the blower motor on and off with a delay, so we have to take that into consideration when we're doing our troubleshooting. Here's one type of air handler control board and you have 24 volts coming in on the T-terminal and then it goes through the fuse and you can see that this fuse is intact and then it goes over to the R-terminal. That R-terminal goes to your thermostat and supplies 24 volts to the thermostat and if you have common at the thermostat then you're going to power the digital display in the thermostat. Then in the thermostat when you turn the fan on R touches G when you turn the fan on and it sends 24 volts from the thermostat back over to the G terminal and that's going to control this block right here which is actually a relay. Now the board has a delay built into it so that when you send 24 volts to the G your connections between the common terminal here and the NO which is normally open is, may take a few seconds to close. Once you take the 24 volts off of the G terminal it's going to then have a longer delay before the connections open back up again. That delay may be 30 to 90 seconds. This NC terminal is only used if you have electric strip heating and 120 volts would have to pass through a sequencer first before it gets over to this connection and then it would connect over to your blower motor connection on the common in order to power your blower motor. For the NO connection, which is normally open, we are sending one of our 220 volt legs over to the NO and it's only sending it over to the blower motor when you have a signal for G which is for the fan to turn on and then your control board controls the delay which we're going to go ahead and test with our multimeter. So right now we're sending 24 volts from our transformer to the control board and now we have 24 volts coming out of the the R terminal and what we're going to do is we're going to alligator jump it to that G wire. So Right now, we're on our relay terminal with our multimeter reading our resistance value of 0.1 ohms. We're right about 0.0, .0 ohms of resistance. And so we're going to go ahead and move this over to this terminal right here, which is the NO, and you see that we're reading OL. Now let's go ahead and jump over to our green right here. Now it only took less than a second for that connection to close, but now when I take this off, it's going to take a good amount of time before that connection will open back up again. So there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and test our NC terminal. You can see that it just switched immediately right after about one second. Some control boards may take a few seconds to do this, but this one is doing it immediately. And now we're going to go ahead and disconnect this. So there we go. So when you're troubleshooting these control boards in the field, you want to go ahead and turn the power off to the air handler first, disconnect your power wire to the blower motor and your input power wires, and you want to make sure that when you're setting those wires aside, make sure that they don't short to the ground frame if you were to go ahead and turn your air handler back on again. So you can do your diagnosis of the control board with resistance on your, your relay right here, just like we're showing in this video. And then you can put power to the G terminal and then take your power away from the G terminal, checking your resistance values. When the contacts are supposed to be closed, you should be getting a reading very close to 0.0, .0 ohms of resistance. And when the contacts are supposed to be open, you should be getting a resistance reading of OL. If you're not, then what could happen is maybe the contacts got welded together and they're supposed to be open, but they're stuck together. Or when they're supposed to be closed, there could be a... Uh, high resistance value between them be, maybe because the contacts are pitted and burnt. So you're just going to go ahead and measure your, your resistance values across this relay right here. So I hope this video helped you understand how the control board works and if you're looking for more HVACR resources we have a bunch of free resources over at the website at acservicetech.com including thermostat wiring diagrams for just different types of systems and the wiring them together. Make sure to check out our refrigerant charging and service procedures for air conditioning paperback and also our quick cards Available over at our website at acservicetech.com as well as amazon.com. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.